Hey guys, it's Phoenix Tsukino, and we are back yet again with more of The Crooked Man. Okay, so last time we moved on to a new location, which is an abandoned law school. And there we found um, a new character named D, who is, for some reason there, we don't really know why he's there, but he's there. Apparently he used to be a student. And we also strangely encountered the Crooked Man who tried to kill us again. So, now let's just move on and finish with our quest for keys and shit. <laughs> Okay, this is where I was, so I'm gonna go in this door now. Yes, use the lecture hall key. Okay, so there seems to be three doors here. Let's see here. It's locked, so I need a yet another key. I cannot open that one at all, so let's try this door. Found E. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Because today, we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school and we owe it a great, we owe a great debt to it. Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. Okay. But these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. Clap. Okay. What was that? D? How did you get into the lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Eh. You forget I'm a graduate here? I know all the secret ways, dummy. Huh. Well. What were you listening to? A tape? Yeah, for my graduation day. Man, has it been really three years? I was getting nostalgic for the place. And even abandoned, it really hasn't changed. It's just like it when it, I was taking classes. I can't I don't really know what voice to do for D. <laughs> Let me try something. Uh... Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. I don't know what voice I'm going to do for him. Uh, I really don't know what voice. I don't know. Voices. Uh, um, let's see. You graduated, but you're still studying? I don't know what voice to do with him. <laughs> hey, lay off. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Next up, it's going to be my sixth attempt. There's a, There were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed it in one shot. Being a lawyer has been my dream since I was a kid, so I was happy when I got accepted here. Felt I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I man just managed I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind helpful professors that did it. I'll pass the next time for sure. I mean it's my sixth time anymore, and I'll be way behind my classmates. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? It's sort of hard to explain. 
there's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering at an abandoned school, but damn, you really are nuts, huh? Seriously, a monster? Even little girls don't believe stuff like that. You're being a total doofus. Okay. Do you enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm much older than... Ahem! Don't quarrel with me, alright? I'm a talented, soon-to-be lawyer. You'd be no match for me. Ugh. Do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will do what I like, thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my, around my alma mater. Okay. Hey, Paul. I got in. What? Really? You got in? To flight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. I forgot what his voice was. I think that's what it was. You can do whatever you put your mind to. <laughs> Thanks. But it doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I'd love to fly above the, above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did it. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. Maybe D is like that too. Okay. No. Is that not lined with reference books? Lined with reference books. Is there anything in these drawers? So let's get this shiny. The Julius School newspaper is posted up. Michael Stath Statum. Today we must pay tribute to Michael Statum. Wrote a dissertation, inserted an ad in the scholarly book. Okay, that's not important. Oh, his birthday. His birthday. That was a thingy. Who was it that ye also used the same birthday? as their code. I think it may have been Cindy, but I'm just gonna write down. Get a pen. I'm just gonna write that down. So it'd be zero six one nine June nineteenth. Okay, I guess I don't take it. Check the trash. Nothing. Okay. Now I just need to remember who shared his. Neither one of those has anything for me, except for tools. What's this? That's the reference room. Okay, so there's no more rooms up here, like faculty rooms. Okay, I already have yours. Let's see, was it you? You. Looks like sort of diary. He still says his passcode is in the reference room. Right? Let's see. Yeah, 
he says his is in the reference room, but can't find it. Maybe it's in like that back door if I can ever get to it. Cindy. Maybe it was was it Cindy? Who shared something with Michael? Yes, okay. Found it. Let's do this. Okay. Six. I mean zero six. One nine. Woo! Got the key to the lecture rooms. Okay. Sweet. Okay, heading back down to the first floor. I'm guessing that's this door here. The lecture room. Cool. Okay. Well, I need reference books. Then again, it could be in any one of these places. This has got reference books. Oh, what's this? There's a notice about a seminar. 9... 21st in the auditorium crime along among the impoverished and its prevention I'm gonna write that down as well cuz who the fuck knows zero nine two one it's four numbers Ivan Evlossi's criminal behavior a psychological approach will be referred referenced so be sure to read it before coming brands more Okay, didn't he say that he left his um, passcode, sorry, I'm like clicking pens, um, in a book, so maybe his passcode is in... Maybe if I go to the reference room now and check the books, I will know exactly which book to f look for in criminology. Okay, what's this? Scrap from notebook. I knew there was something I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious usefulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up. To be told I'm a have-not. Lacking. A have-not. It's true. There are haves and have not and have-nots. People whose dreams can come true and... Ugh. Uh, again? Sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. <gasps> oh, good. Finally, it. Yeah. Gak! Oh, God, he's got me by the throat. No, oh, motherfucker. D damn monster! Why are you chasing me? What do I do? What do I do? Did... Huh. Ugh. So you just let me go? Weird. I'm... I'm alive. Okay, weird. The monster's gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left? Damn it. Ugh, my neck hurts and I feel so sluggish. I really haven't slept since yesterday. I should try to find- to rest somewhere. Oh, he's moving slower now. Where was the infirmary? 
I'm gonna lie down. I think it's down the end of this hall. I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. Nap. Hope I don't die. <laughs> crying? Mom? Are you crying again? Sorry, I can't do a thing. I can't even console you. Okay. A dream. So when his mom lived with him, she was starting to lose her mind, uh, get dementia. Is that what it is? Yeah, mom was always crying in the living room after I'd gone to bed at night. That was when I was a kid, though. So like, maybe something happened with his dad. Well, I'm feeling better now. Alright, let's go. Whee. I'm gonna save. Cause that guy is a douche. Okay, save there. Alright. I should try the reference room again. Now that I know what, specifically, what book. I th just think I have to find the right shelf. Legal history won't be there. Criminology. Haha! -ha! I am a genius. Criminal behavior, a psychological approach. The notice in the lecture mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Hmm? What's this little paper in here? What's the number? 99814. It is four. 99. It one. That is four friends. More. So I can get the goddamn computer key. Cool beans. Okay. Now I just have to find friends more. Where did he go? I think he might be on the third floor. Yeah, he's on the third floor. Wee. I don't think he's that way. I don't remember. Where is he? Franz! Where you be? I think this is Cindy. But I got hers. Yeah. Which one of you is Fran? Friends. That's Andrew. I locked you in. <laughs> hey, shouldn't he be in there? Rude. Must be on the side. Not you. There you are. Okay. Passcode. Nine, nine, eight, one. Woohoo! Okay, I got the computer key. So I can check that off on my list of keys. <laughs> Tra la la! So we can go to the computer room now. I don't think it's up. No, it's not up here. Those are all rooms. It should be the next floor. I think it's this floor. I think that's the reference room. And this should be the computer room. Ha! Done. Okay. A laptop. Okay. The trash can is overflowing. Lots of complicated papers. I don't understand any of them. Printed by Andrew Robinson. Oh! Andrew used his ID number. So... 
one, four, four, two, four, six. Okay, now I don't, that must be to his room because it needed six digits. I'm gonna write down this other number that's on the page, even if it's nothing, 1709. There we go. Cool beans. Ahem. Friends, faculty, and staff, thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. Future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learned here will make us resolute. A round of applause for my fellow graduates. What? The laptop. But there's no power. But even as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. Oh, fuck me, what? <laughs> he was highly skilled, kind to all of us, and admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. Um. What? Let me ask you all of this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? What the hell did he do? I didn't think so. He should be for he should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. What the fuck did he do? Stop. Stop it. You're the lowest of the low. Your dreams will never come true. Why are you why what are you even good for? Oh jeez. Go off and die somewhere, coward. Whoa. I can't do anything. It's just Not a coward. I, I just. Huh? I heard a scream. Was that you? Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? Forget about it. Sorry to startle you. It's nothing. Hey, dude. You okay? You're super pale. I'm just kind of tired. I came a long way and I haven't slept. Leave me alone. I can't be bothered to talk.
have this. Huh? I already drank a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What? Seriously? I don't need this. I told you, leave me be. Drink it, jeez. You look like you need food and drink. I'm being nice, so just so at least accept it, will ya? Alright. Thanks. But what's all of this from the guy who was calling me a shady punk? Mostly because you look like crap, dude. Come on, I'm not... It's not like I'm heartless. I mean, I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, maybe it's fate. Tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. I would... I could be my... You could be my client once I'm a lawyer. <laughs> That's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? Mm, nope, nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though I don't know really though I don't know what he really looks like. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Doubt anybody be around here though. Oh, but can I ask you something too? Professor Andrew, he's always helped me out. His room is on the third floor, but it's but it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. I was thinking the professor might still have some lecture notes for me around here or something. But yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? Alright, got it. I'll wander around some more. You look like hell, so dump self. Well, yeah, well, you be careful too. If you see any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. What? Hmm. Maybe he's not as bad as I thought. Got an empty drink. And I do actually know how to get into Adam's room. And I'm pretty sure he is on the third floor. 